emergency order by the Ohio Liquor Control Commission took effect at 10 o'clock. Folks were given until, well, right now to finish their drinks. Now, the reason for the order concerns some bars are not following social distancing rules. WCPO 9 News reporter Kristen Swilly looked into two local bars that have been singled out. She joins us now live from Oakley. Kristen. Yeah, good evening, guys. Today, Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley called out a list of bars who had the highest number of anonymous complaints for allegedly violating COVID-19 regulations. Now, I spoke to the general manager of one bar, the owner of another. Both of them said they were shocked, said they've been going above and beyond to keep all of their patrons safe since regulations went into place. My employees do a really great job of enforcing all of our rules here. Lauren Ship says these signs aren't new and neither are the steps the staff is taking here at the Oak Tavern. Everything is six feet apart. We've spaced it. If you look at our tables, there are certain parts where you can't put chairs. We have signs there. That's why Ship was surprised to see the bar here in Oakley singled out. Anyone who is uh, going out know that these places have received a lot of complaints about overcrowding and uh, masks. The first that we heard of any complaint. I actually met with one of the liquor patrol agents this past Tuesday. Uh, I sat down with him. He said that there was a complaint given. She walked him through the bar's procedures and walked away without a warning. I also spoke with the owner of Animation's Pub down the block who didn't want to go on camera, but says his employees have been following state and local guidelines since the onset of the pandemic. Employees wear masks and parties are kept separate. Some here in Oakley worry the new restrictions, including the 10 p.m. cutoff, are pushing businesses to their breaking point. It hurts the bar, it hurts the bar owners, the workers, the people that want to come into the bar. But Ship says her bar is here to stay. We're going to keep doing everything that we've been doing since day one, and we're going to do it right. Now, it's important to note that list is the number of complaints, not citations. The city health department says all of those bars had at least three complaints. Reporting live in Oakley this evening, Kristen Swilly, WCPO 9 News.